Your son is kidnapped and murdered by a pedophile. Your wife commits suicide in despair. To vent your anger, you become a hunter to find this monster. Your older brother becomes your agent and promotes you as a hitman. We work for Elsa. He wants to put some work his way. Give us a call if your guy's interested. Lucas, the last client was not happy. It was supposed to be a clean, one shot to the head job. I mean, what do you do? You pick up a small tree, you smash his brains all over the place. There you go, it's all set for tomorrow. The boss doesn't want him shot. It's too quick. Just wants him to suffer. A lot. Do a few more of these jobs or else, though. You won't have to do any of your own work anymore. Time to take a stroll, old man. Oh, I can't do it today. What the bloody hell do you mean? I can't. I'll, I'll, I'll do it when I get back in a couple of days. You're crazy. Well, you've got to be crazy. You're messing these bastards around. They've got everything organised for today. Look, you asked me to manage your business, not me. And now you're asking me to tell these hoods that you're busy. Oh, this is in for sure, man. Are you a friend of Stoney's? Stoney is more of an acquaintance. Elsa's got another job for you. <laughs> you know, he said you'd like this one. Peter Farr. You know, Lucas, I really thought you'd be your own client long before this. Dying is easy. Living. That's the hard part.